Welcome dear students, welcome to the one line session from Randagor Pilot High School. Today, I want to discuss with you about an important grammatical point. That is that question. But firstly, I want to know by you, tell me, how are you? I think you all are well today. I am also well. At the same time, I suggest to all the students to stay home, save yourself as well as your family and the society from COVID-19. Now come to the point. The topic is tag. Do you know what is tag? Tag means uh, trust man. Tag means label. Tag means sticker. For example, for example, you can see you can see it is a pen. To highlight the pen, the furniture of the company attached different kinds of sticker in here. This is tag. But grammatically, what is tag questions? Tag question means confirmation. Confirmation from the listener. When a speaker tells something to a listener, Actually, he wants to know the confirmation. The way of knowing the confirmation from the listener is called tag question. So, tag and tag question. Now, come to the point. How many tag question? If you want to make a tag question, I think you have to have the knowledge of tense, sentence, number, person, especially auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs, uh, that means helping verb, uh, modal auxiliaries, semi-modal auxiliaries, it is What are they? They are, they are uh, am, is, are, was, were, have, has, said, shall, should, will, would, can, could, may, might, must, use, to, what, to, dear, need. Do does it is. It is. How to make it a question? If you want to make it a question, at first you have to think about the statement. Look at it. In the first statement, the freedom fighters are the real heroes. The freedom fighters are the real heroes. You can see the verbs in here. So, at first you have to use the call. You have to use a comma. Then you have to use auxiliaries. What is it? It is a. If you think the sentence is negative, you have to use the positive form. If you think the sentence is affirmative, you have to use the negative form. The sentence is affirmative, so you have to use the negative form in short, in comma, t. And then you have to think about the subject of the statement, the subject freedom fighters. It's noun. So you have to use the pronoun. The freedom fighters pronoun. They. At last you have to use the question. That is tag question. Aren't they? The next statement you see. You should love your teachers. You should love your teachers. The auxiliary is in here. Should. So first you have to use comma. Then auxiliary verb should. Should the sentence is affirmative, so you have to use the negative form in short. Should now you can see the subject already pronoun, so you have to use the pronoun here. You lost question mark. Third statement you can see morning. 
entertains us with fresh air. Morning entertains us with fresh air. Morning entertains us with fresh air. You can see there is no auxiliary in here, so you have to think about the main verb. What's the main verb? Entertains. If you see the main verb is present form, that means present indefinite tense, you have to use the auxiliary do or does. If you see, if you see that with the main verb you can see is, so you have to use does. First comma. Does the sentence is affirmative, so you have to use the opposite form negative. In short, doesn't morning now so is pronoun each it. Answer to say doesn't it. Next, cutting trees is not good for us. Cutting trees is not good for us. It's really very important. Cutting trees is not good for us. So, what is the auxiliary? Little. Eat. So you have to comma is the sentence is negative form. So you have to use the opposite form that means That means affirmative form is so don't need don't use any negative form in short here. So cutting trees that means now pronounce it. Correct answer is it. The next question. Nobody believes a cheat. Nobody believes a cheat. You can see the main verb believes and you can also see with the main verb says so you have to use does but you have to think about the pronoun nobody pronoun is they so don't use does you have to use do as the sentence is negative so don't use negative form in here do now nobody they at the last of the sentence question mark next question everybody hates him everybody hates him so you have to use a comma then hates is but everybody pronoun is they so you have to use do the sentence is affirmative form so you have to use negative form in short here don't and pronoun they next question let's make the best use of time let's let's make the best use of time it is an imperative sentence. If you think the statement is imperative form, so you have to think uh, about the auxiliary shall or will. If you see let and then object as, you have to use shall. At first you have to use comma, then shall. No need to negative form in here. Shall object. As so subject pronoun we the correct answer shall we next you can see open the door beginning of the sentence you can see open that means main verb in here open so in imperative sentence you have to use auxiliaries we at first comma we the sentence is affirmative form you can use the negative form in here but you can also use the affirmative form in here pronoun you 
Will you? You can also use you can also use W O N won't you then how nice the floor sir how nice the floor sir so you can see the address in here ha comma how nice the flowers are are then the sentence is supplementary form so you have to use the daily form aren't subject the flowers pronoun they correct answer will be aren't they last question I am glad to inform. Last question. I am glad to inform you about the session. I am really glad to inform you about the session. So you can see the link is here. M. So you have to use a comma at the last of the statement. Then subject I. And after that you can see the link is M. But you have to use the auxiliary figure R. Don't use ain't. The sentence is affirmative form, so you have to use the negative form in short. Aren't. A subject is I, so you have to use the pronoun in here. I. Right answer. Aren't. Dear students. I think already you have gathered a lot of experience about the uh, questions. But mind it. Practice makes men perfect. If you want to do well in the examination, you have to practice more and more. So I suggest to all the students to practice at home. No more today. After that, I will come back with another grammatical topics. Take care. Till then, goodbye. See you.